and I'm going to watch you piss and stuff. And well, he so he gets off the steroids after suspension, and he loses a goal line stand and. Which I again believe that was a Bosworth moment that they, I think they paralleled that to the when Bo, oh. when Bo Jackson ran over the Bos yeah. at the goal line. Oh, in the NFL. Yeah. When, oh, when, yeah. When the Bos got to the Seahawks, basically the first time you mentioned Brian Bosworth, the first words out of any sports fans' mouths were like, "Bo Jackson made him his bitch." Like that's oh, what everybody yeah. remembers. Because there was a big scene when like Bosworth was a rookie and everybody was very anti Bosworth and you know yeah. he was kind of the villain and Bo Jackson was the hero at the time. And, yeah. Uh, there was a goal line scene which. Or an actual play where Bo Jackson gets is running downhill towards the goal line, and Brian Bosworth, bless his heart, was trying to come from the other side, yeah, and was moving laterally down the goal line and met him in the hole to try to stop him. There's not one human being in the world that could have made that tackle. I mean, he was yeah. literally moving laterally already. He wasn't. Right. It's not like they both ran at each other downhill, right? Bosworth was moving laterally from the other side of the field, trying to get in the hole and stop him. And Bosworth, I mean, Bo Jackson straight trucked his yeah. ass. Yeah, I saw I mean, that in that 30 for 30. Just totally oh, yeah. snot bubbles, like knocked him flat on his ass. <laughs> That's what they talk about. Nothing yeah. but snot bubbles uh, coming out yet. Yeah, yeah. and there's uh, – so that I really think that Latimer scene, the goal line scene where he gets pushed in the goal line and gives up the, the yeah. losing touchdown, I think that was probably also based on Bosworth too because there was a huge – parallel between that and the Bo Jackson thing. That actually makes sense. Yeah. I always wondered, because they never got into it after the movie, did the Latimer, and did, I wonder if he went to the NFL? Well, they say, uh, yeah, I, I, that would be conjecture. They say at the end how they're going to go recruit Latimer's replacement, so yeah. they're clearly not bringing him back. No, yeah. Um, and I think he's a junior, not a senior, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, that, okay, you scroll a little back uh, where he's where the face paint's coming off at the end of the game. Yeah. Yeah, it's a crucial game. And uh, they go, look at Latimer. He's emotional at the end of the game. I was like, no, that's the roids. That's, yeah. uh, <laughs> that Everybody was, else in the locker room celebrating. He's sitting by himself on the bench just crying, blubbering. So Yeah, because, I mean, the hormones or whatever, uh, yeah. the, the mood swing got pretty – it's very bipolar. Yeah, uh, well, he had that moment because he flat backs and snot bubbles that guy to win that game. After yeah. he got back on the roids, he, he snot bubbles the guy. And yeah. He's where he's like, I don't think you got it, pal. And <laughs> yeah. when he comes running back, off the sideline, James Conn grabs him by the face mask, looks him eye to eye, and yeah. stuff. And you can see his eyes are just like bugging out. And yeah, James Conn gave him that look and pat him on the helmet, like I know you're still on roids, dude. Yep, that's and, why James uh, Conn's a great. That's actor. and that's why he's crying because he's like, uh, Coach knows I'm dirty, dirty. Yeah, he knows he can't. He's nothing without the roids. Yeah, and that was the thing. Yeah, that that scene with James Conn, I love because he's not doesn't say a word. You could see his face, like. Yeah. You could tell, like, uh, he's just disappointed and there's nothing else. He yeah, can sorry. Do. I could spend a whole hour talking about Latimer. So we oh, can, no. We, we I, can move on. I actually, <laughs> Latimer was my favorite character. Yeah. So it was, uh, I'm definitely on I that. mean, there was a lot of depth and layers to that character, honestly. Like, I mean, it was, uh, I, I would have liked to have seen a movie where, like, he was the main character, not so much with Dar Darnell Jefferson and Joe Kane, honestly. Yeah. Actually, I didn't yeah. like the Joe Kane character, to be honest with you.